I am just someone that did the work to get to where I am and I'm here to tell you that you can do it too as long as you do the same. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If y'all are new here, welcome. My name is Taja. Stop and take a minute to subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be part of the family. I'm bringing you guys a very detailed step-by-step -step video on how I became a dental hygienist. We're gonna take it all the way back to high school to how I got to where I am today. All of the steps and little tips that I think will definitely boost you up to make it into the dental hygiene program and how you can succeed, keep up with your good grades, all of that good stuff, boo, cause you know I got you. I have my notebook with me today, honey. And that's how you know we're going to be spilling the tea. I'm gonna try to keep this video as straightforward and straight to the point as I can without really like, going to 10 different places. We all know that right now, everybody is at home. Staying home, staying safe, hopefully. And in quarantine mode, um, most schools are either closed or online, and there is not much that anyone can do as far as going to school right now. But that shouldn't stop you from planning your future, brainstorming, so that way when hopefully everything gets back to kind of normal you can get back with your life and go after your goals chase your dreams i've received a few dms from my followers subscribers that often ask me they often tell me that they want to be a dental hygienist that's their dream job that's what they see themselves doing but they have no idea on where to start straight out of high school the very first step is finding a college that is right for you whether that's a community college or a university that has a dental hygiene program that you are after right after i graduated high school i applied to get in a community college that had a dental hygiene program so i can start with that so that is the very first step is finding the right school for you now i get asked a lot taja should i go to a university a four-year university or should I do a community college? I'm gonna let you decide based off of a couple of things. One, expenses matter, so you need to take in consideration how much is a dental hygiene program in a community college versus how much it is at a university. Which one you can afford, which school is the better fit for you compared to are you going to stay on campus are you going to commute do you have family in the area do you have help can you find a job in the area is this the school that you always wanted to go to as long as it has a dental hygiene program i will let you decide do you want to find a school with an accredited a good dental hygiene program that has a good reputation not every school that has a dental hygiene program is a school worth going to okay um, there are some schools that have really low passing rates. I'm talking about the dental hygiene boards. You might go to a school and they have a 50% passing rate every year. I would not go to a school like that because you want to make sure that the program you're going to is going to prepare you 100% to pass your national boards. I was very fortunate to go to a school that had I think we had over 90% passing rate for the state boards and 100% passing rate for the national boards. And that had been for a good five, 10 years, like being very consistent at that. My program was hard, it was competitive, the school that I went to, but at the same time, it had a good reputation when it came to all of the health programs, whether that was nursing, physical therapy, dental hygiene. Plus it's only a two year program. You have to take that in consideration after finding the college. Another thing. You you want to consider is do you want your associates or your bachelors because most community college only offer a two-year three-year associates program whereas a university in four years you will have your bachelor one thing you want to keep in mind with dental hygiene is that the main difference in having your associates versus your bachelor is that with your bachelor you can do more of community service you can teach you can do more of the out of the op type of um, co careers and jobs but if your goal is just to be a dental hygienist let's say you want to work 
you want to practice dental hygiene you are fine with just your associates you do it does not require you to have a four-year bachelor degree all right so let's say you found the college that you want to go to so after i applied to get in the college i had to take what they call an entrance test now i'm not sure if universities have the same process but in mine personally i had to take an entrance test and what the entrance test did was basically place me at the the entrance test helped them really figure out oh hey how smart is this student what class does this student need to take does she need to go to algebra one does she need to take english one again or can she just start the prerequisites that will take her to her program it's so easy like if you graduated high school and you had no problem really with the basics you are good for your entrance test it is not as hard as the t's test which we will get to that later and it's definitely not as hard as the boards it's just a very basic english science maybe math type of test like can you read the sentence and understand this sentence in english what does it say can you break it down a little bit just a little something even if you let's say you botched that entrance test you didn't do good at all the college is not going to reject you they're probably just going to recommend that you start back taking some basic math just a refresher it just determines where they could place you as far as taking your prereqs um i think that i did the best in math or algebra in my entrance test so i didn't have to take any math as a prerequisite for dental hygiene oh god is good god is good all the time y'all i was like oh really i was good at math but overall was that my favorite topic no my favorite topic was probably a little bit of science i love literature i love english so you let's say that you're done with your entrance test the next step is to get an advisor find you an advisor sometimes the school will already pair you up with an advisor like a general advisor but look for a health advisor so this is something that you can research at your school i'm not sure how it works everywhere you go but the next step for me was finding an advisor and finding a health advisor so my advisor basically was helping me by putting together a list of classes that i had to take in order to apply to the dental hygiene program. That was the job, that was what my advisor helped me with. Um, this is an advisor that was knowledgeable in health programs and what was required. So after my entrance test, you know, my advisor looked at that and she was like, all right, you did pretty good in math. You did decent in science. She printed out this form for me that had all of the classes that I needed. She was like, okay, well, if you wanna get in dental hygiene, these are the um, required prerequisites. You're gonna need biochemistry, anatomy, and physiology. And she really had had a plan for me like okay you can take four classes the first semester you can take five classes this summer you can take this you can take that there is room to 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 move around with your prerequisites there is room to choose what classes you want to take first what time you want to take them what instructor you want what building you want the classes in you know a little bit more freedom compared to later on when you get in the dental hygiene program they just hand you a schedule yeah, and so this part is very crucial and a tip that I have for this is don't try to figure it all out by yourself I get a lot of DMS and questions about hey I don't know what prerequisites I need to be taking I don't know where to start you guys your school this is what you're paying your school for this is what you're paying tuition for you know they have all of the resources and people in there to help you you have to go after it so ask around ask how you can get an advisor find your advisor and then talk Talk to them say hey i'm interested in getting into the dental hygiene program and they're gonna see okay well let's try to have you take all these prerequisites so you can apply in at least a year from today so you can have time to apply and make the deadline because i'm not wasting time you can either spend two years taking prereqs or you can spend a year taking prereqs you can actually spend five years taking prereqs but it is possible for you to tackle down all of your prereqs in one year you just got to make a plan for it and you got to give those classes your best and you can do it trust me you can because if i did it so can you so now it is time for your prereqs for me okay if i took five classes a semester if i got three classes that are really hard like i got biochemistry at the same time with anatomy and physiology at the same time with like let's say 
algebra one or algebra three or something like that i'm gonna make sure that those other two classes that i have are not as hard as those three because i don't care how smart you are you gotta also make sure that you're not putting too much on yourself because if you fail a class and if you're not competent in all of those five classes you're putting yourself behind and it's just not smart I took I took some classes online like the class that I felt like I could handle online I took it like, a lot of those classes you can take online so if you are working if you are a busy mom if you have a lot going on in your life and you can't dedicate full time for school yet you can take some of those classes online so keep that in mind I was working two part time jobs I was a hostess and I was a um a sales associates um plus going to school so I felt like wasn't too busy you know I didn't, I didn't have any kids I don't have any kids or anything so my schedule wasn't crazy busy but um I took some classes online too because I was like if I can do this online then why am I not doing it online somebody asked me should I take biochemistry online I'm gonna straight up say no because for me personally that was a hard class I needed to see the teacher face to face to ask her like what is this honey do you have to have an A for every prereqs absolutely not that would be a lie um, if you have only A's and B's for your prereqs, does it bump you up as far as points to get in the dental hygiene program? Definitely yes. So you want to make sure you are keeping up with your grades, at least getting an A and a B. I say this, if you got one C in a class, that is not the end of the world. You just know that you got to make it up in other classes. Okay, let's say that you took biochemistry and you passed it with a C. And then... Somebody else took biochemistry and they passed it with an A. They're getting four points for passing it with an A. That's just an example. You're getting, let's say, two points or one point for passing it with a C. So at the end of the day, when it's time for you to gather everything to apply for the program, they're going to count in. There's a scoreboard. There's like a score sheet. So they count in grades for each prerequisites, how many points that equals to for the grand total, for the big number. And that number is what's going to put you um, at a competitive rate with somebody else so you want to make sure you're doing the best with your classes i had a c in biochemistry that was my least favorite prereq i never understood that class it never made sense to me i had a c and i had a c in another class but i had a's and b's in every other class so i feel like i made it hey i don't know where on the sheet that i was at when i made it but um try your best to keep up with your grades and do the best take your work seriously these are not just prereqs that you're taking just because these prereqs are going to determine if you are qualified to get in the dental hygiene program are you in are you on the alternate list or did you just not make the cut let's say you took all of your prereqs but one I would still go and apply for the dental hygiene program. I have, now you get more points for having all of your prereqs done. So get as many, get all of them done, get them out of the way. Okay, so let's say you are done taking all of your prereqs. You're excited. It is time for you now to apply to the dental hygiene program. In my program, on top of your prereqs, you were required to take the T's test, right? The TEAS test is very important and it is required, I would say, for 95% of health programs. Um, I think nursing students have to take a prereq, if I'm not mistaken. I know I do have a lot of nurses and nursing students that follow me, so if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. But I think a lot of health programs have to take the TEAS test. The TEAS test is a test that you have to take before you apply to most health programs that test really puts you at a category to let them know how much do you know about science about english and about a lot of very important topics that test is not as easy as the entrance test that we talked about earlier that test is hard it's on a level of one to ten i would say it's like it's like a six seven hard you know like it, it's it's moderately hard i'm saying a seven hard because when we're talking about hard tests wait till you get to your national boards then we're gonna talk about hard tests i'm talking about the dental hygiene national boards wait till you take your NCLEX with with nursing that's hard if you are the type of student that really is about your work it's, it's about you you're about your uh, um studying you did good in your prereqs i wouldn't stress about it because the TEAS test has a book, um, and I've talked about this in one of my videos before, that prepares you um, for 
the the actual test i remember purchasing that book i went in barnes and noble and they had that book it was like behind the counter they had like studying books and the the teeth test book was there now every year they come out with a new book so if you ask me which one i had i also not remember that we're talking about what 2015 you can either look it up online when it's time for you to take your teeth test or i'm sure while you're in school you will hear about it because I wasn't the only one that had this book. Everybody was had a teeth test book to study for the teeth test. So you don't got to study anything else but the book. The book prepares you. It has quizzes. It has mock exams. It has question answers. Everything that you need. And the school that I went to require right now, as of today, they require a 58.7 for the teeth test. So when I say 58.7, unlike the entrance test, if you don't get this score, you have to retake the teeth test. Now, as far as retaking it, I don't know how often you can t retake it. This teeth test from my school, it is valid for three years. So if you take the teeth test in 2015 and you want to apply to the program in 2017, that is fine. It's still valid for three years. I think I literally made one point above the required score. If I had one more question wrong, I would have failed it. But that's not what matters. The past is the past. You pass your teeth test, you have everything lined up, and you are ready to apply for the program. Another thing that plays a big role in applying is your GPA. It's not 3.5 and it's not 4.0. It's pretty reasonable. Like, if your GPA is 1.5, honey, I would... I'm just not going to go there. Don't do it yet. You can build your GPA. They don't care much about your GPA from high school. I know I do have a lot of high school students that follow me and they want to know, hey, how can I prepare right now in high school? They are not, by the time you get to the point of applying to the program, your high school GPA almost doesn't matter. They, are, they care about the GPA that you've built while you are taking your prereqs, okay? And you can build that up. Okay, so you're submitting your application. You have this sheet that's going to determine where to put you after that application. Your competitive points is what they call it. So your prereqs count, that's one. B or higher, you get a lot of points. Shadowing counts. So you want to shadow a dental office. You get points for shadowing. You get points for letters of recommendation, from what I remember. And you get points for your experience. So my dental assistants, okay? You do get more points in the application process for being a dental assistant because shout out to all my dental assistants out there, you guys, and you guys know pretty much everything about the dental world. So you're not starting from ground zero. Then they're going to put all of that together, add everything up and see what number you get. You know, if, if you know you've done all of the steps that were required for you at that time, rest easy. You know, there's nothing else you can do at this point, but just wait and pray and hope that you can get in if you're going to be called or emailed and what the next step is after that. I don't remember, I would be lying if I told you guys I remembered exactly how long it took for me to get a call or email. Um, also, you wanna make sure that you don't forget the deadline to apply. Um, I think I got an email that said, like, congratulations, you've made it through the first portion. Um, and that congratulations email is not the finish line, you guys. So an example, if there was 350 applicants, they're only accepting 35, they're going to send that email to 100 of them. Okay, that's the first step. Not all 100 of them are going to make it in the program. That's just the first step. I'm talking about my program, that's how it was. Like I said, I don't know if it's the same everywhere else. So after those hundreds have been called, you guys are gonna go through another process, which is the information session process. And the information session is a meeting where everyone has to show up. We had to go home and get another email that said, hey you've made it as you know you've made it in the program officially some people got like a hey unfortunately you didn't make it in the program but you made it in the alternate list or some got an email that said you didn't make it in the program unfortunately so that's what i'm saying out of those 135 of them got in the actual program okay so until you get that second email honey let's stay put but god's will so if you know that you've done everything that you had to do say god forbid you do not make it then at least you'll be able to say i did everything in my power that i could to make it here 
okay but we're not gonna think like that we're gonna be positive and we have to have a go-getter mindset like i'm going to make it this is what i gotta do focus on what the steps are and not the what if and but if and the but here's here's one thing that i want to say some programs have an interview process okay mine did not have an interview process but a few programs do I don't want to sit here and tell you guys anything about the interview process because I don't know how it goes. I have never, I didn't have that done to me and I don't personally know anyone that have either. So if any of you guys have been through a dental hygiene program or have gone through that interview process, if you want to leave some tips under this video in the comments, I'll probably pin it, but that would be greatly appreciated for any students that really is interested in something like that. All of this happened in the course of the summertime because the actual, the first semester starts in the fall. For me, that was a very exciting email. That was when like, I could really picture myself. I, that, that's really when my hopes started. I got my hopes really high and I was like, oh, I'm really doing this. You know, that's when the whole process of dental hygiene school starts. Which you guys, I do have a video that details the step-by-step um, -step dental hygiene program semester to semester i'm going to link it down below so you can click on it it is over a year old so like i said a lot of things have changed which is why i wanted to do this one again but feel free to check it out if you have not already and if you're new here if you are one of those students that unfortunately made it in the alternate list do not give up you guys because there is always a chance that someone that made it in the program it's either going to change their mind so then the first person on the alternate list is who gets called i personally know some students that were in the alternate list then i made it through the program then i graduated their hygienist today honey so that's what i'm saying when god has a plan for you nothing comes in between that all of your prerequisites that teeth test everything that you've done up to this point stays on hold and you can reapply for the program again and if anything that'll give you more time to prepare yourself better if you didn't make it in they're gonna tell you why they're probably gonna say hey your gpa wasn't up to par you didn't have enough points for your prereqs or you didn't have enough this and enough that that can at least prepare you and you can prepare yourself that can let you know what you need to do to make it in the next time so don't give up and don't lose hope so if you don't make it the first time prepare yourself to apply the following year because every year they do accept applications so do not give up on that do not give up on your dreams do not give up on yourself and don't give up on your goals i am just someone that did the work to get to where i am and i'm here to tell you that you can do it too as long as you do the same so yes that kind of completes this video you guys i hope that i touched a little bit of everything here i know there's a little bit more underlined and like i said every program is different the point on after dental hygiene school that will be in a different video if you guys do want that video all you have to do is subscribe like this video and that lets me know that i got some homework to do and then i'll be back with this notebook okay Cause this this notebook right here but yeah i love you guys so so much i always love when i do this dental hygiene videos because i feel in my element i'm excited but thank you guys so much like comment and subscribe i love you all so so much um y'all stay safe in quarantine and start planning your future write down notes write down ideas and things that you want to do when this quarantine is over so you can continue with the process don't be discouraged by what's going on in the world today Pray, be strong, and we will get through this. I love you guys, and I'll see y'all next time. Mwah.